Pavel Durov, the founder and CEO of messaging app Telegram, is now under a formal investigation in France. On Wednesday, a French judge ordered the Russia-born tech billionaire to pay 5 million euros in bail and report to the police twice a week and remain within French borders. The founder and CEO of the Telegram messaging app, Pavel Durov, was placed under formal investigation by a French judge on Wednesday. The Russian-born tech billionaire was ordered to pay bail of 5 million euros and must report twice a week to police and is barred from leaving French territory. Durov was arrested at an airport near Paris over the weekend and placed in custody as part of a broad investigation into organized crime on Telegram. The judge found there were grounds to formally investigate Durov on all the charges he was initially arrested for including suspected complicity in running an online platform that allows illicit transactions, child pornography, drug trafficking, and fraud. He was also charged with refusing to communicate information to authorities, money laundering, and providing cryptographic services to criminals. Durov's lawyer did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The 39-year-old's detention has fueled debate on where freedom of speech ends and enforcement of the law begins. In places like Latvia, which borders Russia and Belarus, the Telegram app with its encryption is widely popular as a safe tool for communication and trading sensitive news. Founder of the Digital Security Center, Elvis Strasdens. Yeah, it's probably not the most popular uh, chatting app here, but it's popular among uh, certain groups of people, like people who want to uh, do something probably illegal, like sell or buy drugs or uh, find some shady jobs like scamming or selling their bank accounts or buying bank accounts to do money laundering and stuff like that. Of course it's also used for legal purposes but it's probably popular because of the reasons I mentioned before. Durov's arrest underlines the uneasy relationship between governments and Telegram, which has close to one billion users while serving as a warning shot to tech titans who refuse to comply with authorities over alleged illegality on their platforms.